okay now we'll start with lidocaine already we have seen two drugs under antiarrhythmic the third one is called lidocaine so look at the structure of lidocaine so here this would be the basic nucleus present I have chosen this as a basic one so already we have known what is glycine CH2, 1 and COOH, another one, another N, NH2, that is called as glycine. What is glycine? NH2, CH2, COOH. So, if here we have acid, no, instead of acid, we have amide means that is called as glycine amide. So, what is glycine amide? NH2, CH2, CO, NH2. So, here we have NH2, CH2, CO, NH2. So, that is glycine amide. So, glycine amide is the parent one that is having two nitrogen. So, this nitrogen can be called nitrogen 1 and this is nitrogen 2. Okay. So, with the first nitrogen what is attached? Second and sixth portion is having dimethyl phenyl group and the second nitrogen is having diethyl group that is why it is named as. So, what is the parent here that is called glycine amide. Okay. So, with the first nitrogen with the N what is attached? 2,6 dimethyl phenyl and in N2 2 groups are attached they are 2 ethyl that is why N2 N2 diethyl glycine amide. So, that is the chemical name it is otherwise called as lignocaine or xylocaine. It is the first amino acid sorry it is the first amino amide type of local anesthetic it is used as a local anesthetic and it is considered as a derivative of gramin it is the drug of the choice for emergency treatment of ventricular arrhythmia it is effective only when given parenterally it is not effective when given orally okay so it is um, used in the treatment of arrhythmia with acute myocardial infarction and cardiac surgery and used in the treatment of premature ventricular contractions. Now we will see the metabolism of lidocaine. Okay. So we have known the structure of uh, lidocaine. Here, here it undergoes microsomal oxidation and also N D alkylation. Here what happens with the nitrogen two alkyl groups are there. So one alkyl is removed. So it undergoes N D alkylation instead of I mean that ethyl no that is removed. So we got monoethyl glycine xylide why it is called glycine xylide already we have known this is called xylene so what is xylene benzene ring with two ch3 can be called as xylene so both are ortho to each other means that is called ortho xylene that are meta to each other means meta xylene this would be para xylene so what is xylene benzene ring with two ch3 that is called xylene okay and in the case of this one i mean with the meta xylene in center we have amino group that is called as xylidine that is 2,6 xylidine okay it is otherwise called as 2,6 dimethyl aniline. So, what is the other name for 2,6 dimethyl aniline? 2,6 xylidine okay. So, here this is the uh, this is called 2,6 xylidine that is why it is called so what is the product we are getting monoethyl only one ethyl is attached with the nitrogen that is why monoethyl glycine xylide. So, this is called monoethyl monoethyl glycine glycine xylide okay then it undergoes hydrolysis by means of amidase enzyme now hydrolysis what happens amide no amide linkage would be broken and we are getting amino group and carboxylic acid so this this we have known so what is the product you are getting 2,6 dimethyl aniline otherwise called 2,6 xylidin and this is called n-ethyl glycine okay so n-ethyl glycine so that is the metabolism of uh, lignocaine now we can tell the chemical name according to xylene for lidocaine okay so here this part we have known that is called as 2,6 xylidin okay and this one um, this is called aceto group so CH3CO is called aceto group and with the um, with the nitrogen how many ethyls are attached two ethyl that's why here this one no that is connected to the second carbon that's why it is called 2 diethyl amino this is called 2 zig xylidine so this one combines with co so forming an amide so xylidine combine uh, forming an amide means it can be called as xylidide okay that's why it is called 2 6 2 6 xylidide aceto xylidide so, so what is the chemical name 2 with the second carbon 2 diethyl amino 2 6 aceto xylidide so, that is also the other name for lidocaine. Now, we see the adverse effects, dizziness, paresthesia and in severe cases, it lead to epileptic seizures. Usually, for it is used as, already we have seen, um, it is used as a local anesthetic. In the local anesthetic, it is combined with, I mean for the um, treatment, for the use of local anesthetic, it is usually combined with epinephrine. Okay, now we will see the next drug that is called as disopramide. Look at the structure. 
so here this would be taken as the parents this whole thing so this we have known this is called as azetamide so instead of this one 1h one here 1h one here 1h one means this is ch3 ch3 co nh2 can be called as azetamide and that this we have known this is called pyridin so combination of these two so pyridin in second position only we have acetamide that's why pyridin 2 acetamide that is the parent chosen here so this carbon no this carbon can be called as alpha carbon okay so we'll tell the chemical name so ev everything would be attached to the alpha carbon okay that's why alpha open bracket in the second carbon this is called ethyl in the second ca second carbon only we have this one that's why 2 di isopropyl two isopropyl groups that's why di isopropyl amino ethyl again alpha phenyl pyridin 2 acetamide so what are all present here so first we have pyridin and pyridin in second position we have acetamide so the alpha carbon is connected with phenyl and again this then it is connected with ethyl and that ethyl with di isopropyl amino group that's why it is called alpha 2 di isopropyl amino ethyl then alpha phenyl alpha phenyl pyridin 2 acetamide so that is the chemical name for disopramide now we will see the synthesis of disopramide so in synthesis first we have taken phenyl acetonitrile so we have known CH3CN is called acetonitrile so or methyl cyanide so that is added with phenyl group means that is called phenyl acetonitrile that, that one combines with 2 bromopyridin this is number 1 so this is number 2 so 2 bromopyridin is combining with that so what happens HBr is removed and the left group no that is added with the carbon that's why we are getting this okay now this is added with this one is called diisopropyl amino ethyl chloride so what is that diisopropyl so with the second carbon only it is attached so it is called 2 diisopropyl amino ethyl chloride by the addition of that this H and Cl that is removed as HCl and the left group no CH2, CH2, N and this one that is added with this carbon that is why we are getting that. Then on hydrolysis what happens the cyanide would be hydrolyzed and we are getting amide. So we got disopramide or disopramide ok. Here actually half of the oral dose no that is excreted unchanged in the urine ok that is why the patients with renal insufficiency should be monitored carefully then the remaining part undergoes hepatic metabolism to corresponding n dealkylated metabolite so what is the n dealkylated metabolite here we have two alkyl groups two isopropyl group so one is dealkylated so instead of that only h we are getting in the metabolite ok i will see side effects what are the side effects dry mouth blurred vision constipation and urinary retention the next drug is phenytoin so this would be the structure of phenytoin already we have seen hydantoin so this is called hydantoin what is the nucleus present in hydantoin imidazolidin imidazolidin with two ketones at second and fourth that's why it is called imidazolidin 2 4 dione so that is called as hydantoin so other than hydantoin here it is having two phenyl groups at fifth position that's why it is called 5 5 diphenyl hydantoin otherwise 5 5 diphenyl imidazolidin 2 4 dione so what is the chemical name it is called 5 5 diphenyl hydantoin or 5 5 diphenyl imidazolidin 2 4 dione now we will see the synthesis so here the starting material is benzoin okay so what is benzoin both the ends we are having phenyl ring in center we have CHOH, CHOH. So the, what type of alcohol it is? Secondary alcohol. This is on oxidation by means of nitric acid. What happens? Primary alcohol means that is easily oxidized due to aldehyde. If it is secondary alcohol that would be oxidized due to ketone. So this is one secondary alcohol, this is one secondary alcohol. Instead of these two, two ketones we are getting. So this would be the oxidized form of benzoin. So that can be called as benzyl. So secondary alcohol on oxidation we are getting ketone. So this is benzyl. Now we have taken the benzyl and that is treated with urea. Okay. So what happens here? The bond between carbon and oxygen. No, that is double bond. So the double bond would be broken and that would be converted to single bond. So because of that, what happens? The here NH2 is having two hydrogens. No, one hydrogen is combining with O. And this nit in order to satisfy the valency of nitrogen, that nitrogen is combining with carbon. Similarly, here also. So we are getting a cyclic structure. That's why we are getting here OH and this nitrogen has connected with this carbon similarly 
here also okay in the next step what happens here oh and h so that is removed as water okay and to satisfy the valency of this carbon this alkyl group no that sorry this phenyl group no that is shifted from here i mean uh, shifted from this carbon to this carbon okay if that is going there means the valency of uh, oxygen would not be satisfied that's why double bond would be um, written here that's why we got this one this is called as phenytoin so how we are getting phenytoin first we have taken benzoin that on oxidation the secondary alcohol groups would be oxidized and we are getting ketone then that one combines with urea and there may be removal of one molecule of water and uh, alphenyl group is shifted from this carbon to this carbon and we are getting phenytoin it is uh, used in the treatment of digitalis induced arrhythmia especially supraventricular tachycardia caused by digitalis intoxication it is also having another action that is used in the treatment of epileptic seizures seizures its main metabolite is 5 para hydroxyphenyl 5 phenyl hydantoin we have known this would be the structure what is the chemical name 5 5 diphenyl hydantoin so what is the metabolite one phenyl no that is combining with hydroxy group in para portion so that is called 5 para hydroxyphenyl 5 phenyl hydantoin that's all